what is going on everyone let me adjust my mic here it is time it is time that ai will replace us don't believe me check this out let's run visual studio code yes code and let me just show you the newest the newest the latest and the greatest add-on for visual studio code and that is chat gpt so let's go to let's just open up visual studio code and let's go to extensions and here we're going to search for chat gpt so I tried this out on my PC because as you know, I'm working on a PC and Mac is only for teaching purposes. So this one right here. Now I tried out, not all of them, <laughs> some of them. And they, that is why I'm using PC to try out things. If, if, there's, if there's something that's going to go wrong, it's going to go wrong on my PC and not on my Mac. Now, this one is the one that's working-ish. So here's how it works. We're going to take this, install it, just click on install and after that on the left side you will see 4 gpt okay i don't know if it's using chat gpt4 but it is extremely quick so let me just show you an example let's let's for example let's go to chat gpt and there are two ways okay you don't see this but i should uh, get a email prompt so enter your email now i wouldn't enter your email your personal email i would enter some kind of email it works if you just type in mail at mail dot whatever it works it worked for me hopefully it will work for you so after you do that you do two things uh, either you analyze your code and you need to give the code base we're going to do that just in a couple of seconds or you're going to ask something on the internet now for example i'm going to ask it uh how can i create free files no uh yes how can i create free files using the command line so how to create free files using uh, zing the command line if i mistype something then don't be angry i constantly mistype things okay so how to create people use the command line follow the steps open a command prompt or terminal on your computer Tram, terminal is opened open a command prompt on the terminal on your computer navigate to the directory where you want to create the files type in the file okay so we want to navigate to, the, to where we want to create those files so let me just create on the desktop here Let's get a new folder. We're going to call it G. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, chat GPT and dash test. Let's do it dash test. Cool. Let's drag and drop it in here. Man, bleh. so that's why it's gone. Uh, let's open it up again. So how? I know why it's disappearing, but if you do this, then it's going to disappear. So how to create free files using the command line? and ask the internet you get to click on ask the internet okay so navigate to the directory uh open the command line again we're going to navigate to the directory so we are in the directory because we're already in here you can also see the the out or cd and tab and then you have the directories that you just created and if you see that react course is because i'm working on the react course and i'm just taking a break to show you a couple of things so cd and we cd into chat and oh yeah because this uh max are caps lock sensitive cd chat gpt great type the following command to create the first file touch uh but i already know hey let me ask this cool let me ask a follow-up question can i create all three files at once ask uh i can create all three files and yep here's the answer so i'm just going to touch and index.html style.css and let's say app.js boom so are the files created well if you press enter in order to see the files you just need to ls and there we go they are the files don't believe me let's click here and there we go they are the files so i'm going to open up our index.html let me make this larger and i'm going to do something like this so there we have we have we have it we have our index.html to the right side how can i do this the best uh, i'm going to open up all three of them so let me close this index app and style put them in order and let me try out now something else let's go back to chat gpt this time it remained here uh okay now let's ask something else uh create no how should i start coding a html file and ask uh, start coding html file create blah blah blah, blah. hey 
Create a new file and save it as already did that. Start by adding HTML boilerplate code to include that text. So there we go, there's an HTML boilerplate. Now check this out. If you click in here, it's going to copy to the clipboard. So I'm going to now open up the index.html file and after pasting it, it's in there. Amazing. So if I right click, open with live server, obviously you have to have your live server extension installed. Then we have it running. Unbelievable. So I'm going to drag this to the right side and just have it like a little small application there. I'm going to take this, drag it here. That should be enough. Okay, uh, let's ask the next question. So it's explained that the element, the doc, doc type element uh, declares the declaration tells the browser that this is HTML file document. Then the HTML tag, what the HTML tag does, the header tag. Okay, now how should I, hmm, what should I ask it? Uh, the title, hey, it's missing. No, it has the title. How should I code my first website? Let's see. To create a website, please uh, plan your website before coding. Okay, important plan, decide. Okay, it's giving me a bit of code here. Style your CSS. Okay, can you give me a example of a personal website? Let's ask it. Sure, here's an example. Bam, bam, bam. Title, John Doe. Okay, so I'm going to let him finish this. So he's giving us a header, then he's giving us the title, the navigation, and the main, the section. Isn't this freaking amazing? <laughs> it's over. We, we coders are done. There's no need for us anymore. That's it. We're done. Aha, now I'm facing the right di direction. And sorry about the mullet. I'm having a bad hair day, dude. So I'm going to click in here. We just copied everything and let's paste it in here and hit save and voila, we have a web page. Okay, now let's ask it. Can you style my website? Still clicking on enter. Uh, as an AI, blah, 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 blah. Use consider blah, blah, blah. Topographies using CSS. Okay, let's do something else. Um, write me the code for basic styling. Styling for this website. Let's see. Okay, here's an example. He's writing the code again. Damn it. Just write the CSS file. Okay, this time he included at least the... C oh no, it's already included here. Okay, he's including... Now he's writing the CSS file. Perfect. So also, I'm going to speed up parts of the video because this is taking forever. Now I'm going to click in the CSS file, uh, go to the CSS file and paste it, save it, and voila. <laughs> Let me just make this smaller, just a little bit smaller. Make this a bit larger and boom. Hey, we got ourselves <laughs> a website <laughs> without doing anything, just asking questions. Good. Uh, what should I ask it next? What should I ask it next? So we got ourselves this, this. Oh yeah, make my site responsive and adaptable to a phone uh, format. Sure. But he's writing the code again for HTML. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on, dude. Okay. Global. Is it the same code? Seems like, seems to be the same code. Hmm. Okay, okay, label, input tags, label. Not I'm going to close up the console. Don't need it anymore. Footer, and now the responsive part. He also types in comments. Really professional from him, for him. Uh, and I'm just going to need this part right here. So I'm going to copy this part and paste it in here. And let's see. So uh, it should be at 600 pixels. So it should already work. Uh, H1, okay, it's only changed the H1 and what else? Let's see. What else is he changing? Not, not more. Not much more. I can see. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't think he changed anything. Okay, let Let us do something else. Let us. Oh, actually, the yes, he did change the navigation. Okay. Make the navigation. Navigation. Um. Open and close on a phone format using a hamburger menu and and using js hopefully understands that i mean javascript sure here's an example so let's see uh he's integrating i was integrating to meta did i integrate the meta no so we're going to go over this again okay he's including now the script tag he's naming a script tag i'm going to rename this i'm going to copy the html again and to overwrite oops what am i doing 
going to copy the HTML file, uh, paste it in here. Why aren't you copying it? Do I have to wait until it's done? Seems so. So how about I do this? No, it's not letting me. Okay, let him do his thing. Let, let's just, don't rush him. He's young. He's not an old AI. So are you done, Sonny? Used. And he's changing something here. Okay. Ah, okay. He's adding now for the responsive part. He's adding the, HT the CSS. When you toggle display block, exactly after this, I would do it. Damn it. He's smarter than me. Or maybe he was taught using my courses. So let's copy the CSS file. Let's, I'm still in my HTML file. No worries. I'm going to go into the CSS. Replace this little fellow. Go into the HTML code. Damn it, that's a lot of code. Copy it, go to the HTML, uh, replace it, hit save. Not much has changed. Oh, there we go. So we have a little button here, and now I'm going to wait. Go to your index HTML and change this to app. I, I named it app, so damn it. And let's go down to JavaScript. Let's copy this. Uh, he's adding normal event listeners. I would have used on click. And let's see. Okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. We're missing something here. So function is this, this uh, and didn't finish the code. The code is not finished. You didn't finish the JS code, mother lover. I he apologizes. Damn. Okay, apology accepted. Let's copy this, place it in. <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, it works. It pff, that's dumb, but it works. <laughs> so, what do you think? Are we getting being made obsolete? I don't think so. So, my person, in my personal opinion, as you can see. It's pretty easy to recognize for a more experienced developer that it's messing up. A, it's messing up the code. B, it's only doing general purpose. It will be helpful. It will be extremely helpful, but you still need to know how to ask it questions. And that's just what it is to me. It is a tool that is going to help us become more efficient and much more faster. This is dumb, okay? Hey, chat GPT, you are dumb. You are incapable of designing something okay okay so what do you think will chat gpt replace us leave that leave your opinions in the comment section below with this being said catch you on the flip side bye bye